Hey guys, hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are, and if you're not, maybe I can sprinkle some color into your life and turn that frown upside down. I've been meaning to play with color for a while now, but I just kept putting it off for some reason, and then one of my viewers, Kathy, hit me up on Twitter and said, can you do a tutorial with orange eyeshadow? It is to raise awareness for children born with prader willi syndrome. It would mean so much to a close friend of mine whose daughter was born with it. I thought this was really nice, so I sat down and I came up with this orangey yellow situation we got going on. It's got a little pop of purple. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If you guys ever want me to recreate a specific look, haul at your girl on Twitter and I just may sit down and film it as I have today. By the way, if you hear any background noise, it's because I'm doing laundry and it sounds like there's a fucking bag of oranges in my dryer. Okay, let's go. I'm starting out by priming my eyes with the I Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base by Essence Cosmetics and I'm going to blend that out with a Real Techniques uh, brush. This was my second time attempting to film this, by the way. Uh, I realized midway the first time that I was out of focus the whole time and I had to start over. Fuck my life. Next, I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye pencil in milk and I'm applying it pretty much all over the lid as well and I'm blending it out with that same brush. This will make sure that the eyeshadow not only adheres but also appears more vibrant as well. Today I'm going to be working with the BH Cosmetics 120 color palette. I believe this is the second edition. I've had this for so many years and it never lets me down. First I'm going to take this matte white eyeshadow and apply it just below my brow hairs on my brow bone. Next, with a pencil brush, I'm taking this vibrant matte yellow shade and applying it to the first inner third of my eye. I'm using padding motions to do this because while these eyeshadows are super vibrant and pretty, there is a shit ton of fallout with them and swiping the brush back and forth would just be a complete nightmare. So just dab that shit in. With that same brush, I'm taking a combination of these two matte orange shades and I'm gonna apply them to the middle third of my eyelid. Again, I'm patting them into place and I'm blending the edges into that first yellow eyeshadow. Shadow. Now because I wanted that orange to pop a little bit more and I didn't want to try to apply more of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil because it would make a mess, I took a bit of my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer and I placed it on the back of my hand, dipped my brush into it and applied it to the center of my eyelid. This created more of a tacky base so once I layered more eyeshadow it made it stick so much better. Now I'm just kind of going back and forth between the yellow and the orange till I feel comfortable that they're blended into one another without any harsh edges. With a small crease brush, I'm picking up a bit of this burnt orangey brown shade and I'm going to apply it to the outer third of my eye and I'm kind of dragging it into the crease and blending it out. Then I'm going to take more of my white eyeshadow with a flat definer brush and I'm going to clean up the shape of my eyeshadow so that it matches the other eye. Then with a more precise art store brush, I'm taking this reddish brown shade and I'm further defining the crease area. You want to use almost like a stiff tightly packed precise brush to do this so that it creates almost like a sharp line in the crease. If you have a hard time finding your crease just tilt your head back and you'll be able to see it. And now I'm basically just gonna touch everything up. I kept this part in the video because it's a realistic process when you're trying to create a layered look. There's a lot of back and forth until you perfect it. So I'm applying more eyeshadow where it's necessary, I'm cleaning up certain parts, I'm blending out other parts, adding more definition, yada yada. It's a process and don't be too hard on yourself if it doesn't look perfect right away. You can always go back in and fix everything. For eyeliner today, I'm using this Lee Swatier Iridescent Eyeliner in Aurora. I think this may have been limited edition. I apologize in advance if it is, but I can try to find a comparable liner and list it below. This is a liquid liner, by the way. I'm not a huge fan of really long, skinny eyeliner brushes like this because they make me feel out of control. I like being in control, but I managed to focus, took a few deep breaths, and uh, created a pretty dope winged liner if I do say so myself. I'm using the L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes Mascara to coat my natural lashes before I apply falsies. And the ones that I'll be using today are the Coco Lashes in Goddess. So once I've popped those on, I'm going back in and I'm touching up some of my eyeshadow. I took this really pointy Real Techniques brush and I touched up my crease. I also ended up going back in with a little bit of yellow. I somehow ended up getting a bit of yellow eyeshadow fallout on the front portion of my eyelashes, which is driving me fucking nuts right now. But I wasn't able to see it until I was taking thumbnails nail photos and by that point I was way too sleepy and I didn't want to refilm the close-up so 
Just ignore that little hiccup. By the way, if that ever happens to you, just take a wet Q-tip and press it up against the lash where you've got the eyeshadow fallout and it'll pick it up super easily. Now with a makeup wipe, I'm cleaning up the fallout below my eye and I skipped past the foundation portion of this video because it's the exact same as my last video. So if you wanna know what I have on, I'll link that video below as well as the products that I use below. For blush today, I'm using the Kat Von D Everlasting Face Shaper Blush in the shade Pour Vita and the camera does not do this justice. It is a lot brighter in real life. I'm applying it with a Sephora brush and then I'm diffusing it with whatever's left on my Real Techniques beauty sponge. And then I'm just dusting a bit more pressed powder all over my face to sort of marry all the shades together so they're nice and blended. For highlight today, I'm using the Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. And then I pretty much took the same shades that were on my eyelids and I ran them along my bottom lash line one by one. I feel like this really makes the eyes go, bam, what up, look at me, you know? For the lips today, I started off with this LA Splash Liquid Lipstick in Innocent Vixen. And the reason why I'm putting this down first is because the formula is actually quite drying. And for once, I appreciate that about a formula because it acts as a good base for the OCC lip tars, which tend to bleed. Don't get me wrong, the OCC lip tars are gorgeous, but they bleed like a motherfucker. Even if I've placed a lip liner down first, I just find they bleed. So I wanted to make sure to use something super drying that will keep them in place. I use the OCC Lip Tars in the shades Memento and Hush. These paired perfectly with the blush in my opinion. Memento was applied to the outer portion of the lips and Hush was applied to the center and I just sort of blended them into one another. So I think that about wraps up this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Everything that I use will be listed in the description box below as usual. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.